welcome back to my inner sanctum. I'm your hostess, Countess Elizabeth, mistress of the macabre. Man versus nature. Which one is more likely to win in such a contest? In today's case, it will be nature. Humans were gifted with survival instincts. Today we'll hear a case of singer Taylor Mitchell to hear about the brutality of nature and being at the wrong place at the wrong time, alone. So let us get ready for a nice hike in the Canadian wilderness and explore our grotesque curiosity. Having some free time before her next concert, Taylor Mitchell, an environmentalist who enjoyed Nature Walk, went to Cape Breton Highland National Park on a sunny afternoon of October 27th. At 2.45, a middle-aged American couple going the opposite direction passed her at the beginning of Skyline Trail in, Pe in Petite Atang. For unknown reasons, she doubled back after going a short distance along the trail and came back down the access road, intending to return to her car. It is possible that a coyote was stalking her at this stage. At 3.02 p.m., an American couple named Mike and Gail hiked on the access road heading to the car park. They moved out of the way of the two coyotes who were walking towards them on the road, but going on the opposite direction. One of the hikers photographed the coyotes with his camera before heading to the parking lot. Trent University Environmental and Life Science graduate program professor Brent Patterson later commented that the two coyotes in the male hiker's photo ex exhibited an extraordinary lack of fear, with one displaying what verged on dominant attitude towards humans. It is believed that the coyotes walked into Mitchell on the access road six minutes later, when Mike and Gail heard what they thought could be either animals howling or a young woman screaming in the distance. The American middle-aged couple reported these commotions in a telephone box near the parking lot. Both the park's resources and conservation supervisor Eric Muntz and Nova Scotia Department of Natural Re Resources wildlife manager Michael O'Brien thought Mitchell's predatory animal suspect was, the, was a black bear at first, but as soon they found out it was a pack of coyotes. A group of four other hikers arrived at the parking lot where they heard about possible screams in the distance from the American couple. After several minutes walk along the access road, they began to find Mitchell's personal items, including keys and a small knife believed to have been used by her in an attempt to defend herself as she was forced back onto the access road and onto Skyline. Trail. As hikers turned into the clearing at the head of the trail, they saw torn pieces of bloody clothing and a large amount of blood on the ground. A washroom in the clearing had blood on the door. At 3.25 p.m., Mitchell found, was found lying among the trees with, with a coyote standing over her. After repeated charges by three young men, the coyote eventually moved away from her. Mitchell was conscious and able to speak with the rescuers. The coyote remained close by, growling and unafraid, until a Royal Canadian Mounted Police officer fired a shotgun at it. Mitchell was bitten all over her, most of her body with particularly serious wounds on her leg and head. Paramedics took her to Sacred Heart Community Health Center in, in Chetty Comp, where she was airlifted to Queen Elizabeth II Health Science Center in critical condition. At the hospital, she died of blood loss. Her internment was at Greenwood Cemetery in Owen Sounds, Ontario. Bob Bancroft, a retired biologist with the Department of Natural Resources, said this kind of attack is extremely rare He's never heard of such a case in Nova Scotia. He said coyotes, which are normally up to 50 pounds, are usually very shy, though they can be bold. It is unclear what happened in the woods on Tuesday. When park staff arrived, Mitchell was already en route to Sacred Heart Hospital in Ch Chetty Camp. Bancroft said coyotes teamed up to take down deer. It's possible the hiker didn't even realize what was, what was happening. Officials blocked the entrance of the trail where Mitchell was attacked and hung signs in English and in French warning of coyotes. Park rangers were looking out for the animals to determine what had prompted such an unusual attack. The last known coyote attack in the park was in 2003 when a teenager was bitten. There have been some reports of aggressive animals, so it's still not unknown, said Helene Robichaud, the park superintendent. But we certainly never have had anything so dramatic and so tragic. Well, that was truly a grotesque tale. It seems that she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. If she had chose not to hike alone, she would not have been in such danger. But who knows, it was a pack of coyotes. Maybe none of them were afraid of people enough not to attack a group. May her soul rest in peace. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe, like, and share if you would also like to keep exploring our grotesque curiosity. We will meet again in the darkness of the night.